this is Mahmud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of soil loss. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I first of all, I will draw this rectangle. And this rectangle has a dimension of 60 by 44 unit. Then I will start with it to 32 unit. After that, we can see that uh, we have a Stuttgart cycle. And this Stuttgart cycle has a distance of 35 unit and it has a diameter of 30 diameter. And we can see we have another rectangular Stuttgart of 2 unit here. And for drawing this rectangular Stuttgart, first of all, I will draw a center line here. And then I will offset here one unit and offset here another one unit. Then I will close the shape. Then I will draw this 2 unit Stuttgart portion. Then we can see in the top face there we have another extra circle and this extra circle has a dimension of 9 unit and it is it has a distance of 16 unit by 10 unit. Okay, let's do for this now. Now select the right plane here. Now select a sketch. Now normal to it. After that select the center rectangle. Place the center rectangle here. Now dimension it to 44 by 60 unit. Now isometric it for a better view. Now go to features and now it's to boss. Now it's to boss it to 32 unit and make sure to select from the mid plane. Now press OK. So after that uh, we will select this face or you can select the right plane as you want. Now select sketch. Now normal to it. Now select the circle and place the circle here. Now dimension it to 30 diameter. After that select place my dimension option and select this circle and this line and the distance is 35 unit okay now select the center line from here and from this point to here draw a center line and after that select the offsetting radius and select this line as the total distance to we need the, the half distance will be 2 divided by 2 so 1 unit make sure to click the bidirectional cap in line now press ok now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need now zoom here and also trim this portion and this portion okay now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to cut now is to cut this portion now press ok so after that select this upper face now sketch now normal to it now select the circle here and place the circle here and draw a circle of 9 diameter now select the smart dimension tool and from here to this vertical line the distance is 16 unit okay now again select this circle and this horizontal line and the distance is 10 unit now press ok now I submit it here now go to features and now to cut as there is no hidden line so I will to cut it to through all okay now press ok so this portion has been done now let's move on to, on to the next part in the next part i will draw this portion okay for drawing this portion first of all let me clarify if you see the center line if you see the center, this center line is coming from this uh, stuttgart cycle and we can see another center line here another line which has been coming from this center line of this circle so from this circle distance to this distance the total di distance is 200 unit okay so if we talk about uh, this horizontal line, this horizontal line has a dimension of 200 plus 10 unit minus 60 unit minus 20 unit. Okay, then we have a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 50 unit plus 22 unit. After that, we will draw a horizontal line and this horizontal line has a dimension of 75 unit minus 20 unit. Then we have another vertical line, upward vertical line, and this upward vertical line has a dimension of 22 unit plus 20 unit. Okay. After that, upward vertical line, we have another horizontal line, and this horizontal line uh, will will uh, extend to to this point. Then I will close this shape, and we will see that this closing shape will be 30 unit dimension. After that, we will extrude both it to for mid plane. And this is to post portion has a dimension of 18, 18 unit. Okay. So let's do that. Now so selecting the right plane here. Now sketch. Now normal to it. After that, uh, select a line here and place the line here. 
and now dimension it to 200 plus 10 minus 60 minus 20 okay so it is giving 130 unit okay now a vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 50 plus 22 unit okay then another horizontal line this horizontal line has a dimension of 75 minus 20 unit then another vertical line and this vertical line has a dimension of 22 unit plus 20 unit okay now closing the shape here this and finally we can see that this vertical line is 30 unit as usual okay so we can see we have two fillet here uh, one is 50 unit fillet and another is 20 unit fillet so we are doing that fillet now right on okay so i am selecting the fillet option from here and first of all i am selecting the 50 unit fillet and selecting this point uh, selecting this point okay now press okay we have done this fillet and another fillet has a dimension of 20 unit and selecting this face uh, this line uh, now press ok press ok now I submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss it to 18 unit and make sure it's to boss it from the mid plane now press ok so after that let's move on to the next portion in the next portion we can see we have a, another triangular shape and for drawing this triangular shape uh, we can see we have a circular arc like here so for this circular arc I will uh, for a clarify i will draw a circle okay this circle has a dimension of uh, radius 10 unit and we have another circle here and this circle also have a radius 10 unit dimension and another circle here okay all 10 unit radius circle and from this mid mid line and the distance from this circle to uh, this circle from this mid line is 30 unit and the total distance is 60 units so this half distance will also be 30 unit and here we can see from this line uh, this circle has a distance of 20 unit from that i will draw a tangent line here and another tangent line here and another tangent line here and after drawing that all of those uh, tangent line we can see we have uh, some extrude cut cycle and this extrude cut cycle has a diameter of 8 unit so we will draw the three extrude cut cycle here okay so after that uh, we will extrude boss it uh, we will trim this unnecessary part that we don't need okay after that we will extrude boss it to 10 unit okay let me cal clarify so for that I, I am rotating and selecting this inner face now sketch now normal to it now move it to here okay and select a circle and place the circle here and this circle has a uh, okay I am selecting it please select a circle and place the circle here and this circle has a radius of 10 unit so diameter will be 10 multiplied by 2 okay now select this my dimension tools select this circle and select this line and this distance will be this distance will be something like 20 unit and for making def uh, defined sketch so i am selecting this midpoint okay and selecting this center line together and making it to vertical okay now it is defined sketch okay now let's select another cycle here and place a cycle along this center line uh, this horizontal line and this this one also has a dimension of 10 radius okay and another cycle we need to draw here and this also has the same dimension 10 multiplied by 2 so now select the dimension tool and form up zoom here and form this midpoint okay from this midpoint select the midpoint and this circle it has a distance of 30 unit so make sure to 30 unit and again zoom here and select this midpoint again okay i am selected midpoint again and select this circle and the distance is 30 unit now i am moving it here okay now select the line tool we need to draw the tangent line and first tangent line it will be horizontal automatically so it ha i have drawn one tangent line so after drawing one tangent line we need to draw another two tangent line for drawing that tangent line you can draw a line here and then you can tangent it manually but i will i will hover uh, my mouse here and also hover my mouse here now if i try to draw a line let's uh, see this 
I am clicking here and clicking here. You can see it is automatically making it tangent because I have hovered my mouse to this two cycle. So I will do this in the same way again. Selecting line option and hovering my mouse here and again hovering my mouse here and now clicking here and okay this time it isn't working i'm hovering my mouse here and again here okay okay this time is working so now we have drawn another tangent okay let's all the tangent has been done or you can draw it manually as you want now select the circle and draw the inner stuttgart circle this inner stuttgart circle has a dimension of 8 diameter okay here we have another circle and also select here and draw a stuttgart circle of 8 diameter place it to here draw another stuttgart circle of 8 diameter so after that uh, select the uh, trim option and trim the all, all the necessary part that we don't need okay now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now stood boss now stood boss it to 10 unit ok so stood bossing it to 10 unit now press ok so after that now we can see we have almost done our sketch now it's time for the all of uh, we can see all we have here here uh, and here we have some fillet now it's time for doing the fillet as there is no dimension for the fillet uh, we can see they are, they are telling that R3 so it may be uh, yes they have been selected all the radius to uh, flat radius to R3 money R3 radius so I am also selecting the R3 radius okay uh, I don't know what this test mean but as the uh, this is R3 radius so I am assuming here all they might be telling us to take the R3 radius okay so selecting the fillet option here and now fillet it to three okay now select uh, we cannot select the face so select this section select this line so it will it, it will automatically select this full line also selecting this line now select this portion and this portion this portion this upper portion this lower portion and move here and select this portion now select this upper line and this lower line now select this line from here so all the fillet has been done now press ok now I submit it for a better view uh, if you if you see our fillet stretcher like here and you can see here it is not matching if you want to Match the all the fillet like this one you have to manually select one by one and select which fillet selection order matches this portion okay uh, so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different